You wanna get rich? Yeah. So I've been asked for quite some time now to do a minor video. And honestly, I've just kind of pushed it off to the side. It just really didn't seem very exciting to me. Looking forward to a headmistress. Personally, I'd rather shit in my hands and clap. <gasps> However, with the skyrocketing price of ingots and the new harvest aspect about to hit the ground, then I figured now was a really good time, right? But I wanted to do it a little bit different. I, usually what I would say is just, all right, go grab yourself a pickaxe, get some tracking, a little bit of majory, and start hitting the mountain. But instead, we need to fight off those pesky PKs, right? Because they're all over the wilderness trying to kill miners. So let's fight back, right? All right, guys, so with that, let's do this. Sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's get rich. All right, starting off with the template, guys, mining at 120. Now, gaining skill up to 100 is just simply hitting the mountain. Now, while that'll work all the way up to 120, you'll actually only get skill when you strike rare ores after 100. A lot of adventurers will save and collect ore maps and do those for skill gain chances. That's just something to think about. You can definitely get to 120 just by hitting the mountain, albeit it will be much, much slower. Tactics at 100. We're gonna run into monsters and we're gonna run into PK, so we want to be able to do maximum damage. Next up is tracking at 100. Now, tracking is how we know PKs are coming, so we can either recall out instantly or prepare for battle. Also, this is one of the two skills needed to hamstring a PK. I would strongly suggest making an overhead for when a red does show up on tracking. If you don't know how to do that, then check out this video here. But moving on now, mace fighting at 100. Funnily enough, we can do a good amount of damage with a pickaxe. Although, if we engage into PvP, we might switch over to a faster weapon, so it's a good idea to carry around a club or a war axe just in case. Now, the reason we chose mace fighting is because a pickaxe is mace fighting, oddly enough. All right, now on to anatomy at 80. Now, this plus tracking, and we can hamstring any PKs that run from us. And let me tell you, most PKs will run the second they realize you're going to fight back. Not only that, it will increase the damage we are doing, as well as how much we heal ourselves with bandages. Magic resist at 80. Now, here's a hint. We can train this all the way up to 80 in Shelter Dungeon. What I did is I just ran around Shelter Dungeon, tagged a bunch of monsters that casted magic, let them attack me for a little bit, and grabbed more. Just kept doing this until I was 80. It happened really, really fast. Now this will help us tremendously if we are actually fighting a PK as their damage, their spells won't do near as much damage. Healing at 60. Being able to heal as we chase down our enemy is a blessing. 60 will suffice for this template. Majory at 60. Now, 60 Majory will allow us to cast interrupt spells as well as greater heal if needed. Really, really practice on how to interrupt spells. Practice that with a friend, do whatever it is you gotta do, but really learning how to do this will just help you tremendously in fighting off PKs. When they go for that hill, which you know they will, and you throw a magic arrow or a weaken at them, they're just gonna melt. They're gonna haul ass, they're gonna run. They, 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 they don't know what to do when a miner fights back. Just trust me, trust me on that. If you're really bougie, keep a stock of reflex scrolls. Most wilderness PKs aren't checking for reflect. They're just gonna go for those full dumps. So when that happens and they get that reflect back on them and you pull out your weapon and start bashing on them, well then you just got an extra free hit because they did damage to themselves. Now for the aspect, obviously it's double harvest. I'll be really excited to see how it all ends out, but at the time of recording, the aspect gives us a chance for double yield, as well as an increased skill for harvesting, meaning less fails when finding rare nodes. Also a full minute of higher damage resist versus monsters while harvesting. I'm not even gonna mess with the mastery change or the codex, anything like that. I mean, just come on, hit the mountain, right? Can I say it now, is that okay? I do think this template will be a lot of fun for you guys, especially those of you that do enjoy harvesting quite a bit and are looking forward to the harvest aspect. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of you guys post some really cool clips of you playing your harvester and then murdering a PK that attacks you. So please record some stuff with OBS and have fun with it. Send some clips, it'll be really cool. Other than that guys, shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you for liking this video as it helps with discoverability for myself 
and UO Outlands in general. Make sure and come by the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. And once again, as always, I do love making content over what you, the community, has decided for me to do, so please, Put in the comment section different types of videos that you'd like to see me do or your suggestion on this template or a lumberjacking template. It was a definitely a quick one today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Pwn Star Gaming out. Come by, smile.